Hello, this is Brittany, and I'm with Fritical Response. I'm a customer success manager. This webinar is designed for Vertical Response Classic users that have recently switched over to the latest version of the Vertical Response app. Today, we're going to walk through the main differences of the new application compared to the classic version. And I'll also show you our new editor that we have on the new version. So first, let's go ahead and log in. And when I log in, I'm going to use my classic version credentials. So you'll be able to do the same. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the top part of the top navigation at the top of the home screen and show you all the features. So first, we'll start with messages. So under messages, you'll create your email campaign. This is the only place you'll create your email campaign. You'll also create email automation which is new to the, the new version of the app. We did not have this on Classic. Here you'll create your social posts. So if you need to post to Facebook or Twitter, you can do that under this tab. And here you'll create our landing page, which is new to the new version also. Under Contacts, you'll create your list or upload a new list. Here you can create your sign-up forms. You can also create segmentations of your list and again, the landing page. Under Forms, this is where you'll create a pop-up form that you can put on your website. And under Surveys, you can create a survey. Now, this Need Help button will help you within the app. Wherever you're at within the app, you can press this button and it will give you guidance. But if you need further in-depth assistance. You can press on this question mark over here at the top right corner and it will take you to our knowledge base. At the knowledge base it has videos and articles that will help you with more in-depth questions. Over here on the far right is the gear. This is where you'll manage your social accounts, your contact information, and you can view your billing history. Now that you have an overview of what is available in the new version, let's dive into the email editor itself. Anytime you create an email, you'll go to Messages and click Email Campaign. So what are some of the difference be differences between the classic and the new version? Well, we've designed the new editor to be more simple and quicker to design your emails. Before in classic, there were five steps into creating your email. Now there are only three. You also will start with the design of your email this time. We also have a version of an email editor that you are used to seeing in Vertical Response Classic. I'll show you that at the end, but first let's go ahead and start creating our email. Here you'll see all the templates, and keep in mind all of the templates are now mobile responsive. So no matter what template you choose, it'll look good on a PC, mobile phone, or a tablet. We're going to go ahead and choose Simple Design 1 in here. So you're now in the new email editor. In this email, you'll see that there's a headline, a subline, an image, and some content. If you hover over each of these boxes, this constitutes a content block. You can see on the left side of your screen all the other content block options we have, which you can just add right into your email. You can change your social post icons. You can add images, and you can add buttons, which is what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's add a button. And you can see that it will automatically add the button into your email. But we can go ahead and change the placement of this button. Now that you know how to add a content block, let me show you how to edit the content. If you hover over the first content block, you can say click to edit, so we'll do that. And two things will happen. First, the function will, bar will be placed at the top of your screen. Here you can add text or change the font of your text. You can change the size, the color, things like that. On the left side of your screen, you can edit the content block itself by adding a border 
by changing the padding. And you can change the block color as well. Let's go ahead and change the block color to red. And you'll see that it will change the whole block. Now that you know how to edit the content block, let's edit an image. So hover over the image and you can click to edit. Again, a couple things will happen. You can insert your own image from your own image library, or you can choose from our free images by pressing replace. Here you'll upload your own image. We'll go ahead and use our free stock images. Let's change our company name also. We'll change this to Spring Special. We'll change the subline also. Okay. Went back to our image. You'll notice that you can edit the image by pressing this button. You'll have a variety of filters that'll come up, and you can choose a filter, add stickers, things like that. You can resize the image with pixels, or you can link the image to a URL. Down here where it says blocked image, you see that you can add text. Some recipients will block images from coming into their inbox. So whatever text you put right here will be in place of the image on those certain emails. Let's go ahead and edit the button also. By pressing the button, you can see that on the left side, a variety of options come up. Let's change the wording to shop now. And here you can link the button to whatever website you want them to go to when they press it. You can also change the style of your button. You can add width, height, things like that. You can curve the corners and change the color. You can also move all of your content blocks by pressing this, but we're going to leave everything in place. Um, let me change the container a little bit. All right. So that is how you edit your email, all the content blocks and things like that. Um, at any point, you can press this button up here on the right. Um, this floppy disk represents saving orange like it is now that means the image is or your content is not saved so by pressing this you can save it um the email will automatically save every couple minutes but you may just press that for good measure anytime you exit the email it'll take you back to your messages page we'll go ahead and go back into our draft notice the editor tour if you press on this, you can go on a tour of all the features and all the editing tools to make your email the way you'd like. You can also undo anything that you've done before and redo it by pressing these buttons at the top. And here you'll preview your email. So let's go ahead and do that. So by previewing your email, you can see what your email is going to look like on a PC. On a mobile device, such as a phone or a tablet. And like I said before, all emails are mobile responsive, so they'll look good either way. To exit, you just press the X button. And you can also send your test email right here. You can send it up to 10 email addresses. And then you're ready to schedule. We'll go to next. This is where you're going to Put in all of your campaign and sender details. So email name, this is seen only by you, but it will be the name listed in the messages tab. So you'll want to name it something that you'll remember. Special sale. Your from name, this is what your reader will first see. So you'll want to name it something that they'll recognize. So we'll name it our store name. So we'll go ahead and name it. Let me see, clothing store. The subject line, you're going to want something catchy that'll grab people's attention. So 
we're gonna put save fig on spring sessions. Preview text. This is what will show up under some email clients just below the subject line. So it's just a little something extra. We'll put extra 10% off. First 50 customers. From address, we'll just put sales. In reply to, we'll put info. Okay, so now that we have everything filled out, we can go ahead and press continue at the top right. Here's where you're going to pick your list. You can either pick up an existing list, you can add your list manually or import a file just like before. So go ahead and press the list. We can either send the email now or schedule it. Let's go ahead and schedule it for May 6th at 8 a.m. All right, and we'll send email. Now, follow-up email. This feature is new with the new version of the app. This feature will automatically send the same email, but with a different subject line a few days later to those people that did not, not open your original email. So this will actually increase your open rates, which is a nice thing, a nice feature we have. So let's go ahead and send it for four days after our original email. By doing this, we'll just press this plus sign, and you'll see the four come up right here, and the date. And we're going to change the subject line, which you must do, by the way. So we're going to put string special. And you can skip this step also, but we're going to go ahead and schedule. And here you can post to Facebook or Twitter. Um, we're not going to do this today, but you do have that option. And once you're done, it'll take you back to your messages page. And you can see Spring Special right here. Email and follow-up scheduled for May 6th. And that's really all for the new editor. As I mentioned before, there is an editor that will look familiar to you by going to Create Email Campaign, press this Import HTML button, and then you'll see the graphical editor. This was available in the classic version also. However, once you are done, you'll go through the same process of the campaign and sender details page that we just saw. Then you'll select contacts in the sense and the time to send the email, just like we did before. So to get out of this, we'll press exit, and I'll take us back to the messages page. I hope this helps you in the understanding of the new vertical response email editor and platform. Do keep in mind that if you need any assistance at all, you can press need help this question mark that will take you to our knowledge base. And you can always, of course, contact our support team by email, chat, or phone if you have additional questions. I appreciate you attending, and I hope you have a great day.